Nick Pecorero here, Whitney, looking to stay unbeaten Tuesday night against Pleasant Valley. Here we go. First set, the Wildcats defense looking strong as Evelyn Hendricks says, I didn't order this. Return to sender. But Pleasant Valley's Ali Mims responds with this non-refundable hit. Mims led the Vikings with eight kills Tuesday. Whitney setter Caitlin Cochran with a nice no-look feed to Addie Hamilton. Here's where Whitney takes over set one. Cochran on the serve, beautiful placement. The future Oregon State Beaver had six aces over a 15-0 stretch to close out set one. Set two, the Vikings tandem of Mims and Sadie Moore form a wall to keep it close early, but Whitney's rolling deep these days. Nice up by Alyssa Eimer. Cochran sets Evelyn Hill, who finds some hardwood on the other side. Hill had 11 kills to lead the Wildcats. And then it's Eimer time with the ace. She's headed to Santa Clara next year, and the Cats go up two games to none. Third set, Pleasant Valley's Sadie Moore gets the dig and the kill. One of seven winners for Moore Tuesday night. But here comes CSU Monterey bound Jenna Kraft for Whitney. Whenever she hits it that hard, I'm just gonna call it Kraft cheese. And then it's Hendricks closing it out with one of her three blocks on the night. Whitney moves to 3-0 to start the season. Caitlin Cochran told us about what the Wildcats are expecting for the rest of the year. We really came together as a team like the past three games. Rather, like we started out a little bit playing like as individuals and it was really good to see like tonight we really came together and it was really good like team win. Win the section championship. We're gonna win and yeah, hopefully win the SFL and just have a fun senior year.